Hello and welcome to uh, TheArrogantChef.com. My name is Steve and tonight we're going to be making some St. Lawrence River Perch Rolls. Uh, for those of you that know, don't know about St. Lawrence River Perch, it's not like perch from any other place in the world. It's uh, probably the best perch that you can ever buy. Uh, hard to come by these days because there's a ban on commercial perch fishing in Ontario. And one of the only places that I know that you can get it is the Yellow Perch Company. And you can visit the Yellow Perch Company by going to www.yellowperchcompany.com. And they have probably the best perch that you can possibly get. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, make our perch sauce. Because the perch isn't hard to make. I mean, basically, uh, you're just frying up some perch in uh, oil and butter. Uh, probably uh, putting a little bit of... Uh, uh, flour on it to get it going, to get it that nice brown color. But then after that, uh, it, it's a perch sauce that makes it absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making the perch sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix uh, one and a half cups of vinegar. Okay, so what we've done is we've mixed uh, one and a half cups of vinegar with a uh, quarter cup of white sugar. We've let it cool, and now we're actually going to make the sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put two cups of milk. Three eggs beaten. A cup of sugar. Two tablespoons of dry mustard. tablespoons of flour. I'm just going to turn that up, turn the heat on, and we're going to mix that up. Now the one thing you have to be careful of is that you don't get the heat up so high that you actually burn this because then it turns out absolutely horrible. And the best thing to do is to use a blender. You'll see that it's it's not really thick yet. It's kind of still like that. But we're, later on, it's going to get a lot thicker. So you don't really have to worry about it. This takes quite a while to make. Uh, you really have to, uh, to do this a uh, decent amount of time. And you'll see the thickness later on. Okay, so now we've been beating the other mixture now for about 10 minutes. Uh, you can see the consistency right now. It's, it's not really thick, but... If you use a, you'll see that 
there's starting to be some thickness to it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pour the vinegar and sugar mixture into this. And we're going to turn up the heat again. And we're going to continue until it gets to a decent thickness. And you'll see what the thickness is. We'll, we'll uh, show you that on video. But for now, I'm just going to uh, continue blending. And that's it for now. Okay, so we've been cooking this for a while. I've been mixing it with the blender, getting it to the right consistency. And this is about just the consistency you want. Just like that. Maybe just a little bit thicker. We're going to let it just stay on the heat for a little bit longer. But you want it to kind of be like that. You don't want it too thick, but you don't want it too runny. So that's kind of... We're almost getting to the point where it's absolutely perfect. And I'm just going to... Uh, just ooh. Absolutely wonderful sauce. Now, this doesn't really go well with other fish. It's specifically made for perch roll sauce. Uh, now, you'll notice there's an awful lot of sauce here for perch, but we'll have this tonight, and we'll freeze whatever is left over. And it keeps very well frozen, and then you just warm it up, and it's perfect. Now, this is absolutely perfect consistency. Just take a look at this. It's perfect. And that's perch roll sauce. Okay, so now the sauce is done. If you want to see the consistency, this is the way it should be. You just stir it up a little bit. It should be about like that. It shouldn't be runny, but it shouldn't be really, really thick. This is absolutely perfect. It's exactly the way I like it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, fry up the fish. Uh, just a little bit of butter, some olive oil, and I'll just gently put the fish into the um, flour with a little bit of sauce, uh, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we'll fry that up, and then I'll show you what happens after that. Okay, so what we're, what we're doing right now is we're frying up the perch, as you can see here. So I'm just taking a look at this. I'll put my butter and oil in here, I'm frying it up. So looking pretty good. Now the next thing, very important for making perch rolls, is you have to get these type of buns. They, they're hot dog buns, but they're uh, hot dog rolls more than buns. If you just get regular hot dog buns, you're not going to experience it. So what I'm going to do in a few minutes is we're going to put this in, in the frying pan, and I'm going to brown both sides toasted. And then I'm going to put the perch and the sauce in, and we'll show you that in a couple of minutes. So basically, what you want to do is you want to get a nice toasted bun like that to put your perch in, and uh, we'll continue, and I'll show you how to put it all together in just a second. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what we've done here is we've got the buns nice and toasted, as you've seen, and we're going to pit, put some perch fillets in there for sure. This, whoops. Nicely browned. Okay. And then we're going to put some sauce in there. And as I said, we made a lot of sauce, but this can be frozen and kept. Just put some sauce on there like this. A little bit of salt, not much. A little bit of pepper. And then we just flip that over like that. And that makes, look at that, for a beautiful, beautiful perch roll. Then we add necessary ingredients to perch, which is some good fries. These fries come from Grandpa Bill's in Cornwall, Ontario. So excellent fries. Nice, deep, golden brown fries. I don't think he knows that I'm giving him this kind of publicity, but... And a little bit of coleslaw on the side. And, of course, you probably want to put some ketchup and stuff on that. And then just take a look at this, folks. The absolute perfect perch roll made by the arrogantchef.com. I hope you enjoy.